Genesis chapter 19, verses 1 through 29. Destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Abram's nephew Lot and his family had chosen to live on a fertile plain in a city called Sodom. The people there were very wicked, as were people living in other cities nearby. Two of the strangers that had visited Abraham were angels sent by God to destroy these wicked cities. The two angels, looking like men, made their way to the city of Sodom, where Lot lived with his wife and two daughters. Lot was sitting by the city gate. Lot bowed down when he saw the two strangers and invited them to stay at his house. No, but we will spend the night in the square, they replied. But Lot insisted they stay at his house. Lot prepared bread made without yeast and gave them a meal. Outside, news of the strangers' arrival had spread through the city, and all the men, young and old, surrounded Lot's house. The mob demanded the two men be handed over to them. Lot went out to the mob, locking the door behind him. No, he shouted. Don't do this wicked thing. They are my guests. Lot, you're a foreigner living in our city, and now you want to play the judge? The angry men shouted. We'll treat you worse than we were going to treat them. The men surged forward to break the door down. The two angels reached out and pulled Lot back inside and closed the door. Then they struck the men outside with blindness so they could not find the door. Do you have any relatives in the city? The angels asked Lot. The wickedness in this place is so great, God is going to destroy it. Lot went out to find two local men who were pledged to marry his daughters. Hurry and get out, he warned them. The Lord is going to judge the city. His future son-in-laws thought he was joking and would not leave. As dawn approached, the two angels urged Lot, his wife and daughters, to get out of the city. Hurry, they demanded, or you will be swept away when the city is punished. When they hesitated, the angels grabbed their hands and led them out. Flee for your lives, one of the angels ordered. Don't look back. Head for the mountains and don't stop anywhere on the plain. You've shown great mercy in sparing my life, Lot told them, but I can't flee to the mountains in this time and die. Look, there is a small town near enough for me to run to. Let me flee there to shelter that I may not die. Very well, the angels replied. The town will be spared, but get there quickly. As Lot reached the town, the Lord sent burning sulfur on the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. The entire plain was engulfed with fire, volcanic fumes, salt, and ash. Lot's wife, however, ignored the warning not to look back. She herself turned into a pillar of salt. The Lord spared the lives of Lot and his two daughters who sheltered in the town of Zoar. Early the next morning, Abram looked down over Sodom and Gomorrah. He saw dense smoke, like the smoke from a furnace, rising all over the plain. God had destroyed the wicked people that lived there, but spared his nephew Lot.